Hey guys, thanks for choosing this video. And if you want to see more videos like this one in the future, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, my name is Serve. I'm a Rep Paladin. I play in a guild called Yikes on a server called Scarum. I just wanted to make a quick video to go over the rotation, priority based rotation that we use as Rep Paladins and um, give you a certain way of thinking about your rotation and how it's going to change from time to time and the factors that can change it. And we're also going to uh, make a quick correction about my seal twisting video, um, something that confused a couple of people, so I'm just going to issue like a quick clarification, uh, which I did put on the comments of that video, but just to make sure it gets seen. Um, and since it is sort of on topic with this video, uh, we're just going to cover that quickly in this video. So the Rep Paladin rotation is not like a rigid, static rotation that stays the same all the time. It's obviously very dynamic, and it changes a lot of the time with a lot of different factors, including your swing speed, uh, the cooldowns of your abilities at any given time, the portion that you have left of your swing before you have to auto-attack, and then your mana pool, of course. Now any one of these different uh, factors can influence like what you're going to do next with your next uh, GCD. Uh, during your rotation and your rotation is going to change a lot specifically with swing speed uh, and we'll get into that later I'll show you a couple examples of uh, videos and I'll go through like my thought process while I'm going through my rotation and how I view my priorities just one thing to understand is that you know it's not dynamic it's gonna it's gonna follow a list of priorities in order of like what your highest damage abilities are so number one is improved judgment of the crusader. Now this is a huge damage boost, not only for us as Rep Paladins, but also for the entire raid. Now typically once you get it up on a boss, you can pretty much forget about it, unless there's like a lot of downtime later in the fight where it might drop. Uh, you can pretty much set it and forget it. And this is something that, yeah, it is your highest priority ability, but for the most part, you can just forget about it as long as it stays up. Now number two is sort of like a multi-point priority because these two abilities kind of share a priority, um, Twisting and Crusader Strike. Now Crusader Strike does do more damage on average than your Twist, but because Twist relies on like a very specific timing that it can be done, sometimes you can delay your Crusader Strike for one to two seconds to get your Twist off and that will net you uh, a DPS increase overall. So I want you to think of these two abilities as sort of sharing a priority. Um, now knowing that Crusader Strike does more damage on average, you don't want to typically choose to twist over Crusader Strike if Crusader Strike is off cooldown during the beginning of your auto attack. You typically want a Crusader Strike pretty much all the time because it does do more damage on average. But you can delay it slightly, for example, if it comes up at the end of your auto attack for a twist because it's an, kind of an inconvenient time for it to come off cooldown because you have to choose between twisting or crusader strike whereas you could just delay your crusader strike get the twist off and then crusader strike after with for a slight delay number three is your judgment window now your judgment window takes place right after your filler window this is like right after you use a filler and you auto attack with blood you have a judgment window where you judge blood before you cast seal a command and go into a twist. Now you typically don't ever want to judge outside of this judgment window because if you do you'll probably have to put blood back up for your next auto attack or you're going to end up judging command which is not something you ever want to do. So pretty much always you're going to judge blood during the judgment window, which like I said is right before a twist, right before you prep command and twist blood. Uh, number four is your filler window. Now this is your lowest priority ability, and it's the first thing to go when you have uh, a faster swing speed and you have to cut things out of your rotation to make twisting fit. 
this is the first thing that goes is your filler window that's because these are very high mana cost spells like exorcism and consecrate um, exorcism if it's on demons or undead and then consecrate if it's not or if you have multiple targets these are very expensive spells like i said and you can use rank one four or six of consecrate to save mana but for exorcism you typically always want to use the highest rank available to you um, now later in the game we might come to a point where we phase out fillers completely because fillers do not scale since we never gain spell power on our gear and because if we sometimes judge during our filler window instead we could get more judgments per boss fight which could eventually not now but eventually give us more damage than the filler does for less mana cost but that is something I'll have to address in a later video if that ever becomes the case. For now, we're just going to keep uh, using the filler window because it's what's best. Now in general, this is the priority of your abilities based on the damage they do and the timing um, of them. This is the, the order that you want to follow. Twisting and Crusader Strike need to be your highest priority damage abilities. Outside of that, you can judge and you can do a filler window. Now something important to remember about judge is that it's not on a global cooldown. So you can always do it right before your twist as long as judge is off cooldown. Because it doesn't cost you a GCD, it's not going to mess up your twist. However, you can't judge every single time you twist because it's just not going to be up that often. Judge has an 8 second cooldown and our weapons swing faster than that would allow for. So for the most part you're going to be judging every 10 to 12 seconds, sometimes shorter if you have lust, but you're not going to be able to hit every single judgment window if that makes sense. This is a quick correction I wanted to make to my steel twisting video. Um, in the section where I talk about our rotation, at the bottom I have this little snippet that says uh, after you do your instant twist on the pull, you Crusader Strike, Judge, Seal of Blood, Auto, Seal of Command, Twist Blood. Now the reason I was doing this was because when I started on a boss, I would Judge Crusader as soon as I possibly could, and then I would put up Command, and I would wait for threat and positioning and things like that, and then I would go into my instant twist, and my Crusader Strike, and by that time, my Judge was off cooldown, so I could do it. Now the reason I liked doing it was because it can stack up Vengeance quicker. Now this is because Judge can crit, and Consecrate can't. Exorcism can crit, but it's not likely to. Now this is normally where you would cast one of those two spells, Exorcism or Consecrate, but I would like to Judge instead to get Vengeance up faster if I don't have three stacks of Vengeance. What I didn't realize is that if you're attacking right away and you don't have to wait for threat or positioning, Judge is not going to be off cooldown at this point and you just can't do it even if you wanted to. Which is something that I didn't even take into account when I made this part of the slide in my seal twisting video. So just to recap, you can only do this if you judge early and wait some time for threat or positioning on the pull. That's the only time you can do it because you need to wait for Judge to come back off cooldown. You should only do this if you don't currently have three stacks of Vengeance. After the instant twist and your Crusader Strike right on pull, if you still don't have three stacks of Vengeance, then it's a good idea to, to Judge if you can. Now this is kind of a niche scenario. I admit, um, and it's probably not something you are going to be able to or have to do often. Uh, a lot of times you're just going to get three stacks of vengeance right away from your instant twist and your crusader strike. But also if your tank's really good and threat's really good, or if you don't have to take time to position the boss, then your judge is not just, it's just not going to be off cooldown. So what you would do instead is if it's not off cooldown or if you already have your three stacks of vengeance you'll cast a filler spell instead which is going to be exorcism or consecrate 
And this is that's just the normal rotation that most people use all the time outside of like haste windows. So you just put your filler spell where the judge is in the screen cap. And then after you auto attack, right before you cast seal of command, that's where you would judge, just like normal, uh, in your judgment window. Now, I probably should have just kept this part out of the video, but I didn't realize at the time that uh, the judge is taking place too quickly and you just can't do it unless you're waiting for threat, which I normally was at that time. But now I, I really don't do this myself even anymore because now I really don't have to wait for threat anymore. And I looked at a couple of my last videos and I really don't even do this anymore. Um, so I just want to make a quick clarification to that point and make sure it was like known that um, you know this is like a very niche thing. It's something that you can do in, in, in very specific circumstances, but for the most part, you're just not going to do this. And it, I did clarify this in the comments and the footnotes of my last my steel twisting video, but um, I thought it was good to include it in this video because it's topical. It's you know it's part of the rotation, and um, it's just something I wanted to address and make visible for people. Okay, so this is a typical rotation with the 3.0 swing speed. As you can see, every three seconds you have an auto attack. Um, you're gonna start in Seal of Blood, you're gonna Crusader Strike, you have a filler window. Right after that filler window is your Judge window, where you judge, you go into Seal of Command, set up a twist, and then you twist Blood at the end of that auto. And then you do CS again, Filler window, seal of command, twist blood, CS, fill, judge, seal of command, twist blood. And it just kind of repeats like that. Now this is, um, obviously this is a 3.0 swing speed, which is not, it's a little bit faster than we have usually. Uh, most of the time we have 3.6 or maybe a little bit faster if we have mongoose or drums up. Um, but this is the the person that made this used 3.0 swing speed because it lines up perfectly with your Crusader Strike, and it's uh, it's something that uh, they did for convenience to show you how you should be trying to CS every other auto attack. Now, obviously, your rotation is going to change with your swing speed. Uh, three seconds, like I said, is used to line up CS with every other auto attack. But when you attack faster than this you don't have enough time for all these GCDs so the first thing that you cut out of your rotation is your filler window and that's really all you should ever have to cut out of your rotation is your filler window the purple window there now if you remember back to the damage priority list that I gave you that's because fillers are at the very bottom they cost the most mana and they do the least damage and they don't scale well so if we're attacking really fast, that's the first thing we want to cut out of our rotation to make sure that we can still twist. Now, something to note is if you're using Consecrate as your filler spell, well, the filler window in this example is occurring every six seconds, but Consecrate has an eight second cooldown, so you cannot Consecrate every single filler window at the swing speed. Even if you use a 3.6 swing speed, um, since your filler window comes up every two auto attacks if you have a 3.6 swing speed the filler window will be 7.2 seconds apart this means that your consecrate is going to drift by 0.8 seconds each window so you might be able to get two consecrates like consecutively back to back but on the third one you're not going to have time so you can't consecrate every single filler window now what you could do is if you're on a demon or an undead boss you could consecrate exorcism consecrate exorcism back and forth that could work um well actually i should clarify you could do consecrate exorcism consecrate maybe a second consecrate because exorcism has a 15 second cooldown so you can't do it every other filler window um, you're not going to be able to hit every filler window with a filler spell on every boss. So it's not a big thing to worry about because oftentimes 
uh, our swing speeds are just inconvenient for the rotations that we would like to be doing. And we have to play around that. And that's part of being a really good rep paladin is learning how to play around that. So you're not always going to be able to hit your filler window, but you should try every time you have one to, you know, use what you can. It's a priority thing, right? Like if you are in a filler window, then you look at your filler cooldowns and if you can fit one in, then you do so. If you can't, then you don't. Or if you don't have the cooldowns up, then you don't. Now if you're attacking really fast, like I said before, you just can't fit in a filler window and still be able to twist and other things. Like CS. So you just can't always, you know, hit it. And that's fine. I just wanted to give this to you as an example of what our typical rotation should look like. Um, and you'll also notice that we can't judge every single time that we twist because Judge is also an 8 second cooldown, just like Consecrate. So if you tr you can't always judge right before you twist, not always. And what I see a lot of people do is they, if Judge is just a little bit late, then what they'll do is they'll judge late and they'll go into command anyway, and then one of two things happens. They either auto attack with command because they can't fit the twist in, or they'll stop attacking and wait for their global cooldown and then twist which means that they're losing part of a swing and I think both of these are bad and you don't want to you don't really want to do either of these things you just have to understand that sometimes you won't be able to judge during your judge window and sometimes you won't be able to cast a filler spell during, during your filler window so that's the end of the presentation uh, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you some clips that I have pulled up from different kill videos that I did where we're going to show you the rotation and my thought process while I go through the rotation. Just give me one second, I'm about to take a drink. So this is a Shade of Iran video and um, I wanted to bring this one into this video to show you that what the rotation might look like when you have a lot of haste. I know I already went over this video or a different version of this video when um, I did my seal twisting video because it has like a back to back twist twist CS rotation. But I think it was good to bring up in this video as well to show you uh, the priority in which I cast my spells. So in this video, um, I just got Bloodlust, uh, we set up on the boss already. He's casting Flame Wreath, so we know we have a lot of time to sit here in DPS. And I'm about to pop my Haste Potion and go into my rotation with a faster swing speed. Now up until this point, I had a filler window because I wasn't attacking fast enough, but now that I have Bloodlust and Drums and a Haste Potion, I don't have a filler window anymore because I'm attacking too fast and that's the first thing that I want to cut out so that I can keep twisting. So I'm going to play this for you at a slower speed. Uh, let's do 0.5 and uh, I'll just explain to you like my thought process before each of my abilities. So I'm autoing in blood here. My CS is not off cooldown yet, right at the beginning of that swing. Um, I could have waited for it and did CS anyway, but you know, humans make mistakes, so I go into command, I twist blood, I pop wings, I CS, I have a filler window here, but I opt for the haste pot instead because exorcism is on cooldown. So I go for the haste pot and I get ready to go into a much faster rotation uh, where I will be twisting back to back. So I'm going to auto here in blood. CS is not up, right? And judge is also not up. So I go into command instead without judging. I twist blood. Uh, I don't have CS off cooldown, if you notice. Don't have CS off cooldown here. So I go into command instead and I set up another twist, back to back twists. Twist blood and then CS. 
And now I don't have enough time to do a filler window here. And even if I wanted to, I'd have to do consecrate because my exorcism is still on cooldown. Um, so typically after I do a CS, the first thing I think about is, can I do a filler spell here? Um, do, you know, is exorcism off cooldown? Is consecrate off cooldown? Is the boss going to move out of my consecrate? Things like that. Am I attacking too fast for my filler window? And I am here, so I opt not for the filler. I uh, auto in blood after my CS. I judge, go into command, I twist, and then... Now this next auto, um, you know, highest priority is either Twist or Crusader Strike. Well, Crusader Strike's not off cooldown, so I Twist again. Crusader Strike's off cooldown, so I do that. Don't have time for a filler, so I don't do that. I don't have Judge up, so I don't do that. Instead, I go right back into another Twist. It's the only thing I can really do here. And then I Twist Blood. Except for my swing timer changed a little bit. This was before I had the fix for the swing timers. So it was a little bit off and I missed my twist. But that's fine. Uh, Crusader Strike is coming back up off cooldown. But it's late. So what I could have done here instead of Crusader Striking. Is I could have done Command and Twisted. And then did my Crusader Strike after this auto. A little bit delayed. But that would have improved my damage a little bit. So instead I CS late. I judge and I go into another twist uh, and at this point my haste pot is gone my drums are gone so I'm going back into like a normal rotation here um, and the back-to-back -back twisting the twist twist CS version of my rotation uh, is no longer and I just go back into a normal rotation um, like I covered in the seal twisting video where I will add a filler window after my CS uh, so I just, you know, I want to show you that video to kind of give you an idea of what my thought process is like as I'm in a boss fight and um, how I'm prioritizing my abilities and what what I'm looking at at any given time. Uh, I'll play it again once for you in normal speed. Okay, so as you can see, I totally take away my filler spells, I'm prioritizing twisting and CS, and uh, I can't CS every other auto attack like I normally would, so I'm twisting back to back to fill in the space while my CS comes off cooldown. Cool? Cool. Pretty easy, easy to understand and uh, see where how I'm thinking about my rotation in the moment and how I'm prioritizing things. The next video I wanted to go into is Gruel video here. Um, this is right after the first shatter, so it covers a period where um, my attack speed is pretty much normal. As you can see, it's 3.4 in the corner. Uh, and this will show you like how I'm using my filler windows and things like that. So let's get started. Now I'm coming up real quick before we start this. I'm coming in from a shatter, so there was some downtime here. And anytime you have downtime, you want to go back into command and stop attacking and if you see on on number one down here my one ability that's just the stop attack macro and the reason i do this is the same reason that you stop attack on the pull to twist right away as soon as you go in you want to twist so i go in here i'm going to instant twist on the boss and cs those are my top two damage abilities, so I'm going to prioritize those first. Instant twist into a CS. And now here I have a filler window after this GCD ends. I could either, uh, you know, consecrate, um, or I could judge and cast blood again, which is less mana efficient. But here's my thought process in this moment. I see that the boss is out of position. I see that he's going to move. And my, my thinking is that, if I drop a Consecrate here, I probably won't get much out of it. The boss is probably just going to move right out of my Consecrate as he gets pulled back to the center of the room. 
So I instead I go for here what's called a filler judgment, which is where you cast your judgment instead of a filler spell, and then you put blood back up. So I judge, I put blood back up. Uh, and now here, my CS is not on cooldown, or it's it's on cooldown, I mean. So I go right into a twist. And twist, CS is off cooldown again. So I'm gonna CS. And now here, after this GCD, this is my filler window. Uh, I can't twist because I'm at the end of my swing. I can't CS, I just did that. And I can't judge because I'm at the end of my swing, which I don't have enough time to get uh, seal of blood back up. Uh, I mean, I guess I do, but it's mana inefficient, and I could just cast a filler spell instead and judge on the next auto attack. So what I do here is I cast my consecrate filler, then I judge, and then I go into a twist. And then CS is back off cooldown, so I CS. And now here is my filler window again, but Consecrate is not off cooldown, and this boss is not a, a demon or an undead, so I just can't cast a filler during this filler window, and that's okay, that happens sometimes. So instead I go into my next auto attack, and I, I was going to judge here, but as you can see my judge is still not off cooldown, and I'm at the very last second I can cast command. So what I do is I just say forget the judge, I'll do it next time, and I go into command, and I twist blood. Because obviously judging blood is a lot less damage than a twist is, and I can't allow that judgment to mess up my twist, otherwise I'll lose damage. So I go back into a twist, and then I CS, and then I have another filler window where I can consecrate, and I, so I do that. And so you, and then I judge, but I'm silenced, so um, I can't judge. But I wanted to show you this um, just to basically show you how my thought process is working in the moment, in practice, on the boss fight, what I'm thinking at every moment um, about what ability I should do next, how to organize my rotation, what what's going to give me the most damage possible at the at the next GCD. And uh, what should I be? What cooldowns like should I be looking at? You know, during my rotation, um, to do next. So I'm gonna bring this back up on the screen for you, real quick. The damage priority. Um, just to close out this video, I'm gonna give you the the damage priority once again, so you can look it over. Um, obviously Judgment of the Crusader is number one, Twisting and Crusader Strike is number two, these kind of share a priority. Um, you always want a Crusader Strike if you can, but it's not bad to delay it sometimes to twist. Number three is your Judgment window. You want to hit that if you can, but you won't be able to hit every single one. And then the same goes for your Filler window, which is the least priority, um, which is you're not going to be able to always do them, but it's Exercise Demons or Undead or Consecrate. And these two windows, judgment and filler windows, you just can't always hit them. Sometimes they're going to pass and you won't have done anything, and that's fine. That's just life. Um, and like I said two or three times now in this video, you know, um, when you are in a very fast swing speed, the first thing you're going to cut out of this is your filler window because it is the lowest priority. Now, if you made it with me this far, um, I just want to say thanks for being here and listening to me ramble on about Red Paladins that I love so much. Um, you know, I want to say thanks to everybody who supported me so far and, and commented on my videos and things like that, watched my stream. Um, and I, you know, I just want to say like, if you want to see more of this content, you know, please subscribe, please, uh, you know, like or whatever, you know, whatever boosts me in the algorithm so I can get seen to more people or shown to more people. Um, you know, I put a decent amount of work into these videos, but I'd like to put more in and the next step for that is going to be learning how to do some video editing at a pretty decent quality. And, you know, you guys supporting me is going to help me do that and allow me to put more time into it and uh, spend more time making my videos better and uh, helping you guys be, rep be better Rep Paladins and uh, join our awesome community of Rep Paladins in the Light Club Discord. So. 
down in the description I'll have uh, the link for the Light Club Discord and uh, Blaced's Ret Compendium, which is sort of like a general guide to Ret Paladins, um, which is where I got this idea for the priority-based rotation. Credit to Blaced, where it's due. Uh, you know, he's a great guy, friend of mine. And of course, one of the best Ret Paladins in the world, so. Once again, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, thanks for sticking with me this far. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them below. And um, thanks for watching.